Assalamu alaikum and hi to everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Shihachi Tech Innovation. After being into generators for quite a long time, I just realized that uh, automatic changeovers shouldn't be that expensive. And uh, I arranged one using two contactors. In this video, I'll be showing you from scratch to the end. Now sit back, relax as I take you through my innovation. You may grab a pen and a paper. In this particular changeover switch, you only need two contactors as main items. Three face contactors. As you can see, it's indicated here. And this also. These are three face contactors. Okay. Now I'll start by wiring the excitation coil of the first one. Okay, this is A1 goes to contact L1. Okay, and uh, A2 is here. A2 goes to L3. This L3. Okay. Now we are done with that. Now I'll wire the second contactor. The second contactor. A1 A1 will go to L2 A1 goes to L2 as you can see okay And the L1, this L1 L1 will go to the other contactors contact 13. This contact 13 has to be a normally close contact. A normally close contact is a contact that turns to becomes open when the excitation coil is powered. It has to be a normally closed contact. Okay, from here, we, we are wiring the A2 of the excitation coil. This A2 of the excitation coil, this contact. Now, all the excitation coils have been wired this excitation coil has been wired this one also now it's time to connect the power input cables from the two power supplies this l1 And this will go to L2. Next, I'll connect the power output terminals. Uh, this uh, T1 goes to T1. This is the output terminal.
Now from here I will connect uh, this. Mm, this is my three phase power supply. Okay, since I have only one three phase power supply, I will split my three phase into two for demonstration. Always be careful when handling three phase power. It's a high voltage power. Okay, this is my three phase power supply. I've split it into two. Now I have a pair of three phase for demonstration. Eh? This is just for demonstration. Okay, now this will go to one power supplier. That's one power supplier. And this is another power supply. Now this goes here. Then L1, L2, and L3. Okay. Okay, now our, our automatic changeover switch is complete. Remember, these are three phase automatic changeover switch. Okay, now this is the power supply. I've split the power supply into two, as you can see this and this. This one is going to this switch, and this is coming to this switch. This will act as power supplier A, power supplier B. Okay. And this is where the changeover will be happening, these two conductors. And this is a switch for the, for the load. Okay, now I will connect the motor. This is a three-phase motor. It's a huge motor. This is a 7.5 horsepower motor. Okay. Our automatic changeover is complete. Now, uh, it's time for testing. This is the power supply. This power supply is split into two. This is uh, acting as a power supplier A, power supplier B. Okay, and these are the two contactors. These are the main items here. Okay, this is the switch for the for the load. Now I'll test before connecting the load. I have to test and certain that uh, the the switch is functioning properly without the load. Okay. Now this on. Now I'll switch on the two power suppliers. This is the first power supplier. And this is the second power supplier. Okay. As you can see, the power is already this is, uh, this is already functioning. This functioning, as you can see, this contactor. Now let's say this power goes off. The other one takes over. There's no blackout. When this one goes off, this one takes over, as you can see. See? When this one goes off, this one takes over. Now they're all off. This one goes on, it's on. It goes off. This one is on. This one. That's the, this is where changeover is happening. You can see this is where the changeover is happening. This is where the changeover is happening. Okay, now I'll connect the load. This is my three phase motor. As you can see, this is a three phase motor, it's a 7.5 horsepower high speed motor. Okay, I'll connect it here for demonstration. Okay, now I've, com I've uh, connected the, the motor. Now I would like to. Okay, this my table is smaller. Let me let me put it down so that you can uh, have a clear look. Okay. Ah. Ok, 
Okay. Okay, now I'll switch on, oh, it's on. Okay, this on. I'll switch on this one. As you can see, our changeover is uh, functioning. And this one, one power supplier is on. This one power supplier is on. Now, let's say the power goes on this side. It has already taken over the other one. And the, the motor is still running. The contactors have changed. Now let's say the power comes to them on this side. Keep a close eye on this side. Keep a close eye on this. This is where the changeover is happening. Okay, keep a close eye on this and on that. The changeover has already happened. The motor is still running. You see, there's no blinking. It's automatic changeover. It's automatic changeover. You can see. The power goes off, another one takes over. Now I stick it on. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that when I upload the next video, you'll be notified.